What's going on guys? How you been? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to share five different tips on how to save some time in Blender. Uh, not all these tips are related. Uh, some of them are from modeling, some of them are from materials and so on. Uh, but let's just jump in and have some fun and uh, all these uh, little tips will save you some valuable time in Blender. Especially if you're a beginner or you want to get into Blender now, uh, this will save you a lot of time. Uh, so the first tip I have for you is uh, the custom workspaces. So as you can see here, I have my UVs to the right in the small window. This is my main window, which I can hide all the uh, panels, the N and T panel. Uh, so I have a really nice view of what's going on. On the bottom here, I can tweak maybe my lighting and uh, my um, uh, objects position. And over here, I can tweak my materials. Uh, so you're asking, how is this gonna save me time? Uh, well, if you're, if you're working just in one window where you jump in from modeling workspace, to sculpting workspace, to V workspace, all these clicking around and uh, delay, especially if you have a busy scene, is gonna really take away a lot of time of, you, of uh, just creating and focusing on uh, one thing that you're trying to do. So if you go back to my custom layout, I can really uh, save a lot of time just being in here and having other layouts uh, right next to me and I can jump in from one to another using control space. So if I wanna do UVs, control space, uh, work on them, come back. If I want to tweak lighting, control space, go in here, create some lights and uh, jump out, uh, work a little bit on here, maybe model. If I want to play with materials, jump in here, uh, maximize the view, uh, work with materials, jump out and so on. And the way you create them is really easy. If you have your one window, if you click on any uh, division on the screen here on the bottom or the right, you can just right click and do a vertical split or horizontal split. As soon as you do that, you're going to see a line. And if you click tab, it's going to switch uh, position of the line where you want to split it. So for example, if I want to split it here, I can uh, have another workspace. Uh, let's see what we got here. So for example, I want a compositor open. So they'll be on top and then my main window and other windows. And if for some reason you don't want to uh, have too many windows or you made a mistake, uh, it's same thing. Just right click and do join areas and you can drag up or down. So if I drag up, it will go back uh, to normal and you can continue working. Uh, so just remember, custom workspaces, uh, set it up the way you like it. You don't have to copy it from other people and uh, it's just really easy from one window to another and work on multiple things. Uh, anyway, the next tip I have for you is uh, materials. Uh, so if you have a lot of materials, for example, on this car, if you jump into uh, viewport shading, uh, for example, let's assign a bunch of materials. Uh, so uh, for this door, for example, uh, let's go on materials. I'm going to delete, create a new material. Uh, I'm going to make it red. And then we're going to go to wheels. Uh, we know wheels are rubber. So let's go new. Let's uh, rename this rubber. Let's make it nice and gray. That's good. Uh, same thing for this one. Let's assign uh, rubber. Uh, and you get the idea. So if you have a bunch of materials and uh, you want to assign them quickly and not click around uh, this menu or here, uh, for example, you know, if you have this material and all of a sudden you want to change it, you're like, okay, let me go back into my materials. Uh, let me click on this icon, find another material that I like. Maybe this red, change it. Okay. Uh, two minutes later, you want to change it again, or you forgot to assign a material. Uh, the quick tip I have for you is Alt M. So what Alt-M does is basically uh, brings up this menu that you see here uh, with materials, but right next to your screen or right next to your mouse. Uh, so if I wanted to assign different material to this fender, all I have to do is click Alt-M and it's gonna bring up all the materials that I have available to me. So I can just sign red here, go to the other side, Alt-M, for example, do green. Uh, let's click on this sign here, Alt-M, do interior black and so on. So you get the idea with Alt-M, you have this menu popping up in front of you. Instead of clicking here and finding your material, uh, you can do Alt-M and just uh, assign material from there or change materials uh, very quickly. Uh, another thing with materials where you can do is uh, do Control L to link materials. Uh, so for example, you wanna, uh, you know, a bunch of these parts have the same color, uh, this red. So let me just select the roof, uh, select this window here, uh, this uh, subdivision, uh, the trunk, uh, maybe the sides here and this side here. And now since you have all of this selected and it doesn't have any material, 
and you want it to be this red, you just select this red last or whatever material you're trying to select. So you just click that last, you do control L, and now you just do uh, material link. And what it's going to do is going to link that red material to all other parts of your car or whatever object you have. It really saves time. Uh, so for these tips, uh, control L uh, to link materials and uh, alt M uh, to assign different materials to different parts of your car or whatever model you have. Uh, the next tip I have for you is uh, modeling and is duplicating things around. Uh, so if you do shift D, for example, on this plane, uh, we have two different planes. Uh, but what if you wanted to make uh, tiles, you know, for the floor of your car? Uh, so let me just go to the top view and scale this in. Let's just put in the position here. Uh, switch views real quick. Uh, go to tab. Let me just extrude up and maybe scale. And let's just pretend this is uh, one of my tiles here. And I want to duplicate it around uh, this plane or to make a floor. So let's just select this tile. And uh, first I would do control D and do X uh, to put it right next to uh, the tile I want to duplicate it to. And now all you have to do is click shift R to continue duplicating. And all it does, it repeats the previous task. So let me just fill this up. And for example, we have a nice uh, straight row of tiles. You don't have to worry about if they're straight or not. Uh, you know, the computer does it for you. And now let's just select all these tiles. And fill up the, the rest of the way on the Y axis. So let me just go to top view, shift D, go to Y. Try to line it up. And I just do shift R, shift R, shift R, shift R. And now your whole floor is covered with tiles. Obviously, these tiles are not really, you know, um, accurate, but you get the idea. Uh, so make sure you use Shift D for duplication uh, for your objects. And same thing for Shift R uh, to repeat tasks, uh, which is really useful. Okay, let's move forward to the next step. Um, so let's talk about alt extruding. Uh, so as you know, extruding is really common in any 3D application. Uh, so let me show you uh, what I'm talking about. Let me just bring in a cylinder here. Scale it down, uh, scale it up, and let's just pretend we have uh, pillars around uh, this car. So let me just go to top view here real quick, and Shift D, oops, Shift D here, Shift D to the bottom, and so we have three pillars here. And you go to edit mode, uh, maybe you do some cuts to make uh, the top base and bottom base of your pillar. And you go to face mode, you select uh, the bottom and uh, the top faces, and you try to click E, and this happens, you're like, well, uh, that's definitely not what I want. Uh, I want to extrude out. Uh, so maybe you try with scale, you do ES. If this happens, you're like, uh, that's, not, that's not what I want, I just want it to go out. Uh, so to fix that, you do Alt E, and what it's going to do is bring up this menu, uh, which says extrude faces with normal E. And then you have uh, the one along the normals and individual faces. Uh, so indiv individual faces is cool too. It does this effect, but that's obviously not what we want. So let's do Control Z and do Alt E again and select along the normals. So as soon as you do that, uh, you have nice and uh, even extrude. And as you can see, it uh, fixes that problem uh, that we had. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, uh, select individual origins uh, by clicking period. So as you can see, the uh, pivot point right now is medium point. Uh, so what that does, if you select uh, these two pillars here, and I try to do the same thing. So let me create a base. Um, let me create a cut on top here and on top here as well. Uh, let me just select uh, these two. And let me just do E, and this happens. It doesn't work. If you do ES, this happens. It doesn't work. And you do Alt-E and uh, along the normals. Uh, this works, and now if you just do a period and individual origins, and now you try ES, it works as well, but the only thing it does is uh, creates this uh, upslope uh, that doesn't really look good. Uh, but to fix that, you just go to the side view, zoom right in, uh, do Shift Z, and just SZ to bring it up, just scale it down and to match uh, so it's nice and even. So it's a little bit more work, uh, but Alt M works uh, most of the time. Uh, it's really nice, and uh, make sure you use it. It's really going to speed up your workflow. 
uh, when it comes to extruding and modeling all kinds of objects. Anyway, let's move on to our last tip, which is uh, L and uh, Control++, plus plus, uh, which is for selecting your objects. So for example, you want to add some more details uh, to this pillar. Uh, so you jump in here. Let me just make three cuts. Uh, select these faces, uh, Shift D uh, to duplicate. Uh, now let me just ES, extrude, as Z. So for example, we have these, uh, this detail. And as you can see, it's uh, separate from the other one. It's, uh, it's almost like two separate objects. And uh, for some reason, you want to go inside to edit this object and maybe uh, delete the faces on the inside. Because as you can see, if I zoom in, uh, the face is still on the inside and we're not really using it and the camera is not going to see it. Uh, so the way, there's a couple of different ways to uh, get, get to it and uh, fix it. Uh, so if you select one face and do Control Plus a whole bunch of times, what it's going to do is select just that object. And what you can do now is do Shift H. And now it's going to hide the other objects so you can work on this one. So now you can jump inside, um, click your faces, I click X, delete, and it's all good. It's good to go. And from here, you can do other changes as well if you if you need to. Uh, so now, let me just Control Z this. Bring these faces back and do Alt H. So now it's going to bring back my other pillar, and we have uh, the same object. Uh, another way to get to the same uh, result, uh, maybe uh, you can prefer this way over the other one. Uh, so you go back to edit mode. And let me just select this again. And I just click L. And what it's going to do is select all the linked faces to the object. So I only selected this part that I uh, was working on. So now I just do Shift H again, jump in. For example, maybe I want to bevel these two edges. So do Control B, bevel, jump out. And now it's good to go. Uh, so Control++ plus plus and L is really useful. It's going to select all the linked faces if you have uh, the same mesh with a couple different objects. And let me just do Alt-H to bring the other, uh, other object back. Uh, but it's really useful uh, in multiple uh, scenarios. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, so that's all the tips I have for you. Uh, make sure you use them. It's really going to save you a lot of time. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps, and have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.